Hey, I'm back. Today was sure a long day, huh? I had so much fun. You know, when they said that there were cities outside the walls and people actually living in them, how are we supposed to believe that? But it's so amazing. I can't believe there is an outside world where you don't have to worry about titans breaking in every day advanced technology, and all the amazing food you can eat. Just imagine how happy we could be, living normal lives like everyone else here. Amelia, she could learn so many things growing up like this, make so many friends. <laughs> Hell, we could even get married and give her little brothers and sisters of her own. Just imagine. Did Amelia go down easily? Great. I'm glad she went to bed so well. It's not easy sleeping in another place. Where it's unfamiliar, but... It's probably because of all the cool stuff she got to do today. We couldn't get her to stop eating that ice cream either. <laughs> Come here. Hmm. Why'd I take so long? Well. To be honest, Aaron wanted to talk with me earlier. <sighs> I already told you, me and him aren't like that. I chose you over him a long time ago. <sighs> I wouldn't say flirting. I... I think he was just <sighs> confessing to me, but in a way that he wouldn't have to outright say that. Does that make sense? <sighs> well, he asked me what he was to me, family or more. I won't lie, when we were younger, I definitely loved him more than family. But now, all I can see him as is a brother. He's all the family I had when I lost mine long ago. But now, I have you, Amelia, and my friends and the scouts. I wouldn't trade you all for the world. <laughs> Don't squeeze me too hard there. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. Don't worry about me. It's just... I'm a little worried about Aaron. Didn't he seem off to you today? He kept spacing out the entire time we were out there. And to top it all off, he asked me a weird question like that? I don't know. It just makes me feel worried is all. You do that? I mean, after what I told him earlier, he probably doesn't want to talk to me anyway. You're right. We'll talk to him in the morning, 
But for now, let me show you what Armin gave me. <laughs> he said that him and Aaron were befriending some refugees near the Marlene border. And they gave him some alcohol. I don't know what kind it is, but they said it was good. I was thinking maybe we could just relax and drink. Just to me and you night. Like we always wanted. <laughs> okay. But you try it first. <laughs> because I always protect you, you should protect me for a change. If it tastes bad, you tell me. And that's it. Okay? Here. So? How was it? Really, that good? Let me try. This is actually really good. Most of our alcohol in the walls tastes like drywall. But this... This is amazing! I promise I won't drink it all here. I guess you can say since we drink from the same cup that we kissed, right? <laughs> That's definitely a different kiss than the kind we've had before though, right? <laughs> <laughs> I love you too. Gosh, I miss these little moments like this. It seems like we're always fighting. For no reason other than to be alive. If living is this great, then hell, I'm going to keep fighting for you, for you and Amelia. Hmm? What kind of game? Two truths and a lie. Okay. I'll go first. Uh, I have killed 16 titans. I've killed five people. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll stop being so dark since you said so. And my third one is, I hate Captain Levi. Okay, guess, which one is the lie? <laughs> yeah, I know I've killed a lot of things. That's not the point. You're the one who wanted to play the game, so which one is the lie? Then guess, silly. Er, uh, Ron. I have in fact killed five people. Four of which were when the government was after us. Did you not remember? Or did you not keep count? Well, 
I certainly keep count. Taking lives isn't easy. I mean, killing titans is easier, but they were once humans too. <laughs> what was my other kill? Well, I told you about how my family was murdered and how Aaron saved my life. Yeah. So, there were these two guys that he killed. You know, the kidnappers, but he couldn't get the third guy. I mean, the guy was huge. He had to be over six foot. He had Aaron up in a chokehold, but something snapped in me that day. I don't know what, even till this day, but that was the first person I ever killed. <laughs> no, I don't hate Captain Levi. Maybe at first I did. I mean, who wouldn't hate the guy beating the shit out of your brother? <sighs> The way he treated Aaron at first really pissed me off. But if you think about it, if he didn't do what he did, then Aaron would probably be dead right now. So he did what he had to, I guess. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Your turn. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Okay. Well, this is tricky, isn't it? I'm going to say that the second one is the lie. You haven't killed more titans than me. Sorry, hun. But you know it's true. Better luck next time. <sighs> no, I'm not tired. That's all you. I can see bags under your eyes right now. <laughs> Make me. <sighs> You know what I don't get? People always get upset when I talk about death and stuff because it's depressing, but with you, at least I can talk about it. We see death all the time, all day, every day. Well. Depends, but you get what I'm saying. You have to sometimes let all the bad feelings out, as terrible as they are, so that you can feel better. You know? You think I've had too much to drink? <laughs> you're funny. And you're warm. Oh god, I met you. I know you listen to me talk every day. Which I don't do enough of around other people, but... I want you to know I'm here for you. Whatever happens next, I'm always here. What's wrong? Don't cry. Did I say something wrong?
come here. Lay your head down on my lap. Tell me, what's been bothering you? Hmm. Well, you're safe with me. I promise. That's not true. You're not going to lose me. You're not going to lose Amelia. And I will make sure of that. When have I ever broken a promise before? I know it's hard, but... Think about everything we've been through together. And yet, we're still here. Your head on my lap, me brushing my hand against your face. I want us to live. I want to enjoy these moments. We don't know what the future is going to hold, but... I can promise you, the fight is never over. Whether it be fighting titans, people, ourselves, every day is a fight. I told you, I'm going to keep fighting for you. Yet we feel safe right now. I don't feel safe at all. I feel something is wrong, yet everything feels so right with you. I just, I, I want this moment to last forever. Before we have to go back out there to live, fight, die, repeat, sometimes I just wish we were born in another life where all we had were ourselves, but that wouldn't be a life at all. We'd have no purpose other than to make one. I don't know what I want, but I'm glad you're here with me. And that you listen to the dumb things I say I guess that's why they do say a drunk man's talk is a sober man's thoughts. Well, <laughs> well, thank you for listening to me, Bib. Hun? I guess you fell asleep. Never knew my thighs were this comfy, but go right ahead, I guess. I love you.